Hey, welcome. My name is Martin. I'm the creator of Super Mega Space Game. Here is Game Dev Garage. I'm making Cocos Creator tutorials in this channel. If you want to see other tutorials, check links in the description. And if you want to see uh, more things about my projects, check link in the corner. So in this tutorial, we are gonna see how we can um, implement Observer pattern in our Cocos Creator game. Uh, actually, Observer pattern is very useful in complex systems you can check uh, the details in from the internet for, for example from wikipedia or wherever you want so normally <clears throat> observer pattern is uh, something like this uh, we have a subject uh, which is a simple node which is uh, invisible in our tutorial and uh, we want to emit events uh, from our node and we need to uh, have some observers listens that event happens in that uh, subject so what that means for example in a space game like super mega space game uh, you fly the spaceship and you hit a wall and explode uh, so uh, if uh, there are a lot of uh, objects that should be notified when your spaceship exploded and this is very useful when you uh, need that information for uh, from other uh, nodes or other components and uh, that makes uh, things much much simpler uh, than uh, before if you use this method in your system this is um, very necessary for object oriented programming so <clears throat> Let's start this example to see how it works. Normally, you can check uh, Cocos Creator API. Uh, in the node class, you can see there are a lot of uh, events uh, built in uh, a regular node, like touch start, touch move, touch end. Uh, so we already used these uh, methods and these event types uh, in previous tutorials to make um, uh, virtual joystick uh, if you want to check it uh, click link in the corner and we can use built-in events like touch start touch move touch and anchor change color changed uh, and we can define uh, events for our own usage uh, so let's see how we can achieve this uh, i will create a script here a javascript file and event demo okay <clears throat> then i will drag and drop this script into our uh, subject node which will be observed by us observers and let's open it in visual studio code so let me move it here so you can see okay let's get rid out of unnecessary things uh, we need on lot, but we don't need others. Normally, I want to make uh, emit events from this uh, component, this node actually, and I want observers uh, to change color. Uh, if I emit red, uh, they will become red, and if I emit uh, green, they will become become uh, green. So uh, we will have. Um, actually, we could make this by defining properties here. For example, uh, box one like cc dot uh, node and box two, box three. But this will be uh, very complicated uh, in some uh, kind of uh, structures. So we will uh, make the implementation opposite. So we are going to define uh, two different um, uh, events here. So I just want to take note to uh, event name red and green. Let them stay here. So emit red. This is going to emit red event on this node. This, that node that emit red okay we can also post uh, pass 
some other uh, parameters here but uh, i don't want to dive that much deep for now uh, this is gonna uh, emit uh, red on this node uh, remember uh, events only can be emitted on nodes or by nodes yeah so you cannot emit anything on a component so we need to use this dot node dot emit and we need another function for emit green these functions will be called uh, from those button buttons in the scene this will maybe we can make them uppercase to make them more visible actually we don't need on load here we have two functions uh, emits uh, two different em events on this uh, node so let's go we have subject here okay then we have emit red button this is a regular button there's nothing simple uh, special so i just add an event to click event to this button i choose event demo and this is the red button emit red okay same for the green one i will drag and drop this subject here choose event demo demo and this is gonna be emitting green event here okay save so let's uh, implement the observer uh, parts um, we can observe zero one I will put different scripts on different observers so I want to demonstrate uh, other stuff on um, in next minutes so let's see how we can observe uh, events so we are gonna have a link here to our subject subject node is a cc node property and yes we need on load here and we need something to control color of this node uh, become red and become oh, i can't write become green okay these are internal functions so in the on load uh, function we need to add a listener uh, to subject node um subject node dot on uh, we need the event uh, name here green will call become green uh, callback actually this dot become green callback and actually this is all maybe we can we have to add this one so this is the uh, current uh, components uh, method maybe we can we can check yeah we have this in the end so this is for green and another one for the red you can define any uh, string as uh, event name actually event itself become red become green so red make this not red so this dot not dot color equals cc color yes zero zero five five so red green blue alpha okay this is for green red green blue alpha okay i think it's fine so let's add uh, observer script to others and this one also so let's link them we can select uh, all of them and drag and drop subject for 
uh, each of them this will be practical for many objects save and let's take one more thing so sometimes I pause the recording because uh, I don't want to steal your time so we forgot to add this before this uh, subject that not uh, because um, this is the this components uh, property in JavaScript this is very important I sometimes work with uh, C sharp in unity so I forgot this symbol difference okay let's test it hope it works this time yeah at least we started I hit red and everybody became red hit green everybody became green so uh, this is okay um, for example we can uh, um, make a little different thing here I want to duplicate this one by Ctrl C and Ctrl V I want to make observer 2 and remove this component and add observer 2 here and add subject to here and what I want to do is I just want to make observer 2 listen only red events not green so uh, sorry I need to double click to observer 2 and I just want to remove or just comment uh, observer 2 will just uh, listen red event okay click run red everybody becomes red green only these guys becomes green and red and green and red and green yes so maybe we can add a little animation on them but um, i don't want to spend too much time on this subject maybe on uh, next videos we can use this uh, feature uh, emit uh, and event feature on uh, real life uh, cases so this is the end for this video thank you for watching and see you on next videos bye